Residents who suffered storm damage in San Francisco, in a San Francisco neighborhood, say they are fed up and they're looking for something to change. For the past two weeks, some homeowners in the Mission Terrace District have been busy cleaning up the water and sewage that came into their homes. And it's not the first time something like this has happened. KTV's Christina Rendon takes a look at the damage and what the city is doing now. It's been two weeks since an early December storm overwhelmed the San Francisco neighborhood and residents like Riz Gosh are still cleaning up the damage. Well, I have kids and um, I'm not sure whether we should be here right now. His home office was destroyed when a mix of water and sewage filled his basement. This is home video of the night the sewage system backed up on Cayuga Avenue. This morning, city officials surveyed the damage and met with homeowners. It was with Mayor Ed Lee, uh, supervisor, stock leader, and um, department heads. Donna Marie Ponferrada says the neighborhood sits at a geographically low point where a creek used to run, and it's where all the water from the Glen Canyon area drains to. You know, it, it doesn't make for a happy holiday season for any of the homeowners here. Ten years ago, the same thing happened during a storm. Public utility spokesman Tyrone Jew says in 2006, the city installed a connector line to help alleviate the flooding. Uh, in this case, again, it was just even more rainfall than even that additional connector could handle as well. He says the city is committed to not only cleaning up the damage, but figuring out a long-term solution. This isn't just going to be something we can do replace a larger pipe with or a pump station this is going to have to be a systemic fix for what's happening throughout the neighborhood and if i had known the issue before yeah. moving here I, there's no way i would have selected this house as a dwelling place gosh hopes the city acts fast because he knows more rain is on the way and other residents just hope the city sticks to its word um, now it's just a matter of next steps and taking action and, you know, really putting some weight behind the promises. There is talk that some residents may get together and file a class action lawsuit against the city. The city, though, says in about two months they hope to start talking with residents here about figuring out that long-term solution. Reporting in San Francisco, Christina Rendon, KTVU Channel 2 News.